Hello and welcome back. My name is Riquette. I will be doing another pepper review for you today, uh, tonight, and it is the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea Strain, recently dethroned by the Trinidad Scorpion Maruga Blend. Uh, <laughs> wait, it's not coffee. Maruga uh, Strain, and um, the Maruga is somewhere around 1.8 roughly uh, Scoville this guy here is around 1.4 uh, and I kind of think I know what to expect from it uh, however I, I think I would be um, kind of dumb if if I thought I knew exactly what to expect just because there are a lot of variables involved with whether <clears throat> how hot peppers can be uh, it's all about environment uh, what the soils like what's the pH you know what's uh, how often you water them all these kind of things. I'm still learning about all this because uh, I'm a noob, but um, yeah, once again, Scoville's uh, just uh, kind of sketchy, but but uh, gives you some idea. Oh, and, and and I have on my um, official Butch Tea Trinidad shirt. I know, awesome, right? I love this shirt. <laughs> so I'm going to pause right here because I'm going to cut this open and deceit it and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back already, but I didn't deceit, but I'm getting ready to cut it in half because I definitely wanted to show you guys what the inside looks like before I deceit it. <laughs> Let's see if I can describe this uh, correctly. I just. Uh, maybe seventh plane of hell something like that oh yeah right see that see the flames inside see the burning coal just just like to say for the record now dude yeah let me show you the other side All that much better, right? Oops. I'm trying to get that there. It's because my big head's in the way again. Hopefully you guys can see a good detailed view of that because that's a beautiful looking pot. So now I'm going to stop it and take the seeds out. And I will be right back. Okay, I'm back uh, from the seeding. Um, the Trinidad appears to be uh, between moderate to heavy seeds um, maybe not heavy seeds heavy seeds might be in the hundred uh, count range so I would say probably moderate a little bit more this one had uh, anywhere between 40 and 50 seeds to it Whew. I'm not lying I'm nervous about this one I mean look at that guy wouldn't wouldn't you wouldn't you be nervous about that <clears throat> enough with the procrastinating and here we go More sweet flavor um, than the Dougla crossed with a Trinidad Butch Tea. <clears throat> I was kind of expecting a similar taste, but didn't quite <clears throat> have that cap capsaicin uh, flavor to it. It stayed uh, pretty much sweet. It was a good flavor, much better than I expected it to be. The heat's already coming on real quick. I'm feeling it in the back of my throat. 
not my, excuse me, not much towards the front. Hot, cold feelings start starting to come in, in the back, in the glands, kind of, I mean, back in the back of the throat. <clears throat> and of course, the hiccups. <clears throat> We're ramping up pretty quick here. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I probably won't be able to talk soon. So keep in mind that what I can't say during the video, I try to fill in with down in the description below the below this video. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Hot coal. Right in the back of the throat. Um it's just kicking up quite a bit. Oh yeah, it's continuing to kick up. I'm starting to feel more flushed. <sighs> oh yeah. Heat is still there uh, quite a bit. We are building up uh, more hot coal. I mean, it feels like a hot poke right on the back of the throat. Uh, excuse me. Endorphins are kicking in a little bit. Somewhere in here <clears throat> is right when we're asking ourselves, <clears throat> why? <clears throat> kind of, oh man, technical difficulties, man, right in the peak. System locked up, tried to get it back uh, in the middle of all this. I'm still, still in the, uh, Oh, I'm in the coming down stage, but just barely. It's been about three or four minutes. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to obviously do this one again another time. But whew, this is still hitting me pretty hard. Um, much like the Dugla Cross Butch Tea. Um, whole face with the endorphins kicking in. Uh, he's all tingly. These two fingers went all tingly. Uh, the heat's starting to hit my stomach. Oh man. Whew. Trying to fix this technical issue. Scar, sorry. Oh, while going through all this, tough thing to operate. Uh, any of you other super hots out there, hopper, super hot heads out there that have done this? Uh, understand how, how tough it is to operate while going through this um, wow darn it sorry about the technical difficulty it's twice as happened to me a little disturbing because these things can only be shot in one take pretty much so I apologize for the segment missing I promise you uh, I didn't get up I didn't go get a drink of milk I didn't splash cold water on my face. I've been seated right here trying to fix the camera prop and get me back online uh, before this thing was over. As you can see, the eyes are all bloodshot. Uh, 
not didn't really get any sweats um, mm. mainly mainly just a big burn like the hot coal in the back of the throat uh, I I really think that the my tongue area uh, kind of goes uh, went a little numb geez Whew. sorry for the uh, jar garbled text uh, the garbled uh, description here but it does take your breath away, literally, uh, where you can't really think straight or talk. Um, wow. So I was going to say right in the middle of that, you know, you hit that, that, that time where you're like, why? Or the, in other words, the, the Robert De Niro mode uh, phase of a, of, a, of a pepper, you know. Eh? What? Are you talking to me? What are you doing? Yeah, I know. Worst impersonation ever. Oh, <laughs> wow. I would say overall, um, I think that's exactly what I expected, though. Almost identical in the uh, phases I went through uh, as the Dougla and cross with the Trinidad Butch Tea. I keep using it as an example because that's the hottest one I've done so far. Now I'm either at the same or more or less, uh, give or take a couple hundred thousand probably with the Trinidad Butch Strain, which was, uh, like I said before, which was the ultimate uh, hot pepper, which the hot, was the hottest in the world uh, up until the Maruga uh, Strain came out. So, uh, yeah, pretty much what I expected, except for the flavor. The flavor was much better than the Dubla uh, Cross with the Butch Tea. Um, I thought it had a little bit of sweet flavor to it. Uh, held that through chewing all the way through. And uh, didn't really get overthrown by the capsaicin. Um, not a whole lot to say about that other than that. Except for the heat, the heat started on the tongue a little bit, uh, moved quickly to the back of the throat, stayed there the whole time, and uh, pretty much did its damage there. So, uh, to keep this a little bit shorter than usual, and because of the technical difficulties, I'm going to have to splice this together. Um, I would just like to thank you again for watching. Uh, I appreciate that you are entertained by... Uh, this fool eating super hots and putting himself through pain and misery and then for some reason comes back for more so that said that's done i'm done and uh, have a good night